Well, as, as our players would attest, I mean, mental wellness and hit our program really, really hard last spring. I mean, I still, um, I wear this, I, if you can see it. It's about Katie Save, it's about Katie Meyer. Um, Katie Meyer was a dear friend and her family are, are dear to me. I do life with their family because uh, Sienna, their youngest daughter, and my daughter play soccer together. And so we are uniquely aware of what these athletes are going through. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's not just that. We've had women in our program have, have suffered um, loss in their life um, outside of soccer because of mental health things. And so um, it's a great reminder. I, I know a lot of the people, a lot of alum, and rightfully so, get excited about national rankings and championships. And I'll say it, obviously, we are trying to win as many soccer games as we can. But honestly, we're simply using soccer as a vehicle to try to develop women of character, um, to remind girls that are women that life is not easy. And um, there has to be an element of resilience in what they do. They have to know that their identity is so much more than the sport they play or the minutes they play or the wins we, we put up there. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's an awesome campaign. I think it's an awesome campaign because I just think um, that unknowingly, now I'm going to get so boxy here, but unknowingly society has just valued athletes for winning and losing or points they score. And I just think what you're seeing in the mental health realm is a consequence of that. And I think we have to recalibrate and rem remind our kids that sport is simply a vehicle to teach them about themselves. And, and so we, uh, you know, as, as demanding as we are with our athletes, and we are demanding of them, uh, we love them, we're so proud of them. Uh, they're all so incredibly special, not just for what they do on the field, but more importantly, what they, what they do off the field and who they are off the field. So that's a message we continually try to push and remind them of, and it's not easy. It's not easy because their whole lives they've been told they're special because they're here because they were a special soccer player in our program or special athlete. And so for the first time in their life when they might, when they, maybe they don't start or they don't travel or they get injured or they're not the best or they get a C on an, a midterm and they've never got a C in their life or an F or whatever it is. Um, you know, our job, I think, having been here 29 years is really to help them navigate that well and to remind them, put your arm around them, say, hey, you're awesome, we love you, and you're gonna be just fine. This is a part, they call them growing pains for a reason. It wasn't just a, ch a show in the 80s, but it's, it's something that we can, uh, we can all sort of come back to and understand that this is, these are young men and women turning into amazing men and women, and we're a part of that process, so we're excited about it. I think with just having the opportunity to use, you know, a platform such as like our game to bring about the importance of mental health is a really cool thing um, and I don't think a lot of people get that chance um, so I just think you know being able to use our platform you know use something like this uh, to talk about it is you know awesome and I think it's just it's really important like more than ever right now um, you know especially with like the world we live in today um, and I think it's just a good a good way to get you know the younger generation and you know anyone really to just kind of see how important it is especially to student athletes um, just with you know the stresses the anxieties the pressures that all come with being a student athlete just knowing that it's okay to not be okay um, and just kind of bringing that you know about and talking about it is a really cool thing so yeah and I think um, Trin said it right like it's okay to not be okay and I think we um, in our friendship, we're definitely there for each other, for sure. And I think that we allow other people to, especially like on our team, like to be able to come and talk to us if they need anything. And that's like an important thing that like people, people, everybody needs to know. Everybody needs to know that they have a friend, so. Yeah, and it's really awesome to be able to be on a team with, you know, 30 other girls. Um, it's a great support system and we all have each other's backs and we're all here for each other and I think that's something that, you know, is very special, so. The culture you try to create on a day in, day out basis is really important. Um, you know, it's, when you have 30 women on a squad, you, 
it's really hard to be totally in each and every one of their lives. Um, so we encourage them to love each other well, to, to just be mindful. Uh, if, if you see something, say something. If there's something we don't know about, if someone loses a pet animal, you know, like that's happened already this year. And that's a, I know that seems sort of funny, but it's pretty significant. You go to college and the, the dog you got when you're five years old passes away. I mean, that's a traumatic loss of a family member. And that can affect someone's performance. And so we ask the girls to be mindful of those kinds of things, to tell their captains, to let us know. Um, we obviously pray with our team. Um, we try to do a little bit of visualization, a little breathing. And it's just a, a, a cumulative kind of effort from our strength and conditioning staff, from our, you know, our athletic training staff, from our coaching staff. Just a lot of love, a lot of love. And that's what I don't think people on the outside get to see. They just see the game day performances and, you know, oh, you won or you lost. And it's just so much more than that. So um, I think we're, we're doing a good job, but I think we can always do better. And I think the first step is just awareness of that. And it's been a great reminder for me, not just because I'm a coach of 30 women, but I'm a, I'm a dad to three, three kids. I've got a 21-year-old, a 19-year-old, and a 15-year-old. And I'm, I'm keenly aware of the struggles they're going through. But, and the the victories they've also had through their process. So yeah, we're gonna continue the, the good fight.